It's week 18 of the NFL. Coming up, we've got Aaron Rodgers. After his last game, he's now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Jets and the Patriots, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. It's all about divisional matchups on this final day of the regular season, and we've got a compelling one in store here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and yes, it's January 7th, but we haven't seen you since New Year's Eve, so we have to say Happy New Year, one and all. And partner, Happy New Year to you. This is it, the conclusion of the 2023 season. Hard to believe, but we got a good one here. The Pats on. Offense ready to go here in front of the home faithful. And all eyes on this man, their star running back. His guy's limping to the finish line a bit here, but, you know, he's not one to pack the fishing pole and the golf clubs and have those. No, no, he, no. he doesn't bring them to the stadium. Right? If he's smart, he ships them ahead so no one knows. Oh, but, but, no, he, he's a guy that's going to play this out to the end, is he not? He really is, and because he's a leader. That's who he is, and that's what he's about. There is no such thing as a meaningless game in his mind. Their first play from scrimmage is a pickup of 13. Well, there you go. This offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Right back to him on first down. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield where they're blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Calling a gain of three on the play, and that will bring up second down. Now a handoff as they run left side. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there to first down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. When you talk about this Jets defense, they were very strong last week in that win over Cleveland. And all defensive teams that I know talk about creating turnovers, takeaways they call them. And anytime you can get two or more in a game, you've had a really, really good performance. They exceeded that number in a big one. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now one yard to go on third down. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. His throw incomplete. Well, this defense for the Jets, very strong in that victory a week ago. And every defensive team that we talk to, they spend a lot of time talking about creating turnovers. And anytime you get two or more in a game, you've had a really good performance. They exceeded that number in a huge way. They got the football back four times in the win. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. That makes them now 0 for 2 here in the first quarter on third down conversions. And now they'll look to their defense because they need them to step up so they don't fall further behind here in the... England's offense set to go. 
These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to pump then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they lost going together a nice drive and helped themselves out. Now that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, You've got to hit the jackpot there. Could be four down territory, even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he will have a Patriots first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We're week 18. This is just when you hope everybody can get through the regular season healthy. But the medical staff is going to have to take a look here. And we'll step aside. Here we go. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. I think if we put together a job description for a middle linebacker, we would start with being able to hold down things in the middle of the line of scrimmage and be able to take on blockers. But how about the guys who can go sideline to sideline and make plays? Love a guy that can do that. We saw a perfect example of it right there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for him. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Looking to throw, Jones. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And he'll run on the inside handoff. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Someone's looking fresh, and his own line is definitely looking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. They'll bring a tight end in motion. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two there, and it's third down. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. Back to throw, Jones. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots have taken the lead. And all about timing there on that short slam, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Trying to get to place on offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rest off. Yeah, that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product down there? First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Looking to throw. Jones. And his throw is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Jones to throw on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And now out come the Patriots. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Omaha. 
Now Jones throwing to start the drive. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Picked up by D.J. Reed. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. And it's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. But that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski. Maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. But once again, here comes Garrett Wilson in the Jets' offense. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complementary football and get that passing game going as well. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Inside the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Juju Smith-Schuster with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. But let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got it. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Back to throw. Jones. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones, now a short one to Gesicki. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And they're going to speed things up here. They'll look to throw again. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Well, they've certainly gotten him involved in this first half. And on third down, they looked his way again. And what a delight for his quarterback to find him. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, 
One guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Throwing Jones. He finds Parker. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now Jones. And this is incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Operating from the gun, Jones. Throwing the out route. He's got Parker. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. But how about this throw right here? Had to throw it to the left sideline, and you know the timing's got to be correct on this one. Ball's got to be right where it needs to be, and it was. That's because he had great arm strength on that one. Able to drive the football. Quarterbacks love it when they can show off their arms. The tackle made there by Kyler Fackrell. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and nine. Looking to throw. Jones. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 19. 11 yards for number 11. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up the first down. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. And this is certainly not what you want to see in the final week of the year. We'll be back. Hands it off out of the gun. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great play there with his 14th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Patriots have taken the lead here in this third quarter. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed off. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's had a good performance, moved the ball effectively on the ground. Of course, he has the one touchdown. And when you're able to move it as effectively as you've described, that leads to finding a way into the end zone. And now he's just trying to do it for a second time. And of course, with that comes additional yardage. Yeah, looking for additional yardage. And again, that second score here in the third quarter. Now Jones, and he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Finding room at midfield. Now he's loose at the 40, inside the 20. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. And Charles, with that completion, I'm told that puts him over 3,000 yards passing now on the campaign. And Brandon, nowadays, your leader's usually closer to 5,000 yards on the year, but still, 3,000 yards, a good season. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. And the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. 
Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Jets are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So a big chance goes by the wayside there. A tough break on third and goal. Yeah, as a general rule, you know you're usually not going to win games with field goals. But in this case, they had three points in their pocket. I get what he was trying to do, but that's a big swing of momentum right there. Wins offense set to go. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 99 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try and pick it up on third down. Seven yards there at a first down. Back to throw. Jones. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. From the 42-yard line, here's the second down and nine. Looking to throw. Jones. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? The leg's still there. This has been a tough game. Here's Jones on third down. And yeah, that is incomplete. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. On any pass that's in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. That one third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Really good coverage all over the field. It took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one. It doesn't connect. So now Jones and the Patriots down by 11, a little over 80 ticks to go. Now their losing streak in danger of continuing as they come up on first down. Jones to Henry. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal. Yeah, those guys are into it. How about the guys on the sideline? Do you see the coaches signaling? All the personnel groups up on the sideline ready to go in and out of the game. They've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into it. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. 
And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. And this is four-down territory here. They know down two scores at this late stage, 10-yard passes aren't going to do it. So they took the shot there, but it winds up incomplete. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. To throw is Jones. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. This is first and 10. Jones. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Now the question is obvious. Do you try to kick the field goal right here knowing that you need two scores? I would be thinking about if I were on that sideline. Get the field goal now, try and get the touchdown later. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. One final shot. They'll look to throw. That's caught for the additional two points. It'll only matter to the final scoreline, and that is the final act of this game. Well, this fan base on the losing side, Charles, they're going to be talking about this one for a while. They ultimately decided to try to come up with a touchdown on that last play when all they needed was the field goal to force overtime. Yeah, and the reasoning behind it, that's what we're all waiting to hear because sometimes there's things that we don't see on the surface. Did the coach feel like, you know, if he, if he tied the game, they couldn't go any farther, they had too many injuries? I'm not sure what was going on there, but I'm with you. I'm stunned they didn't try and kick the field goal there. So for the Jets, they do get the victory that pushes them over 500 for the season as they finish at 9-8. And, and that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better-than-average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they're going to kind of bottom out here to wrap up this very forgettable season at 3-14. And, and it's fair to say wholesale changes will be forthcoming in the very near future.